Good evening and welcome to another edition of Friday Night Lights. I'm Jay Pushkar. We'll hear from Mike Fenner later on in the show as he's been in Canton all week for the Pro Football Hall of Fame festivities. We begin with baseball as the Erie Seawolves look to bounce back in the win column against the Harrisburg Senators as they continue their week-long series. In the state capitol, we'll pick it up in a scoreless second inning, K.J. Harrison. Singles on a grounder, Donovan Casey scores 1-0 Harrisburg. Bottom of the third, now a 2-0 Senators lead, Jake Alou. Singles a liner off of Josh Lester. Nick Banks scores and does Casey, making it a 4-0 lead. Then it's Jackson Reitz with an RBI double to left field. Harrisburg rolling at this point 5-0, but Erie would finally wake up in the fifth. They would get on the scoreboard here with Riley Green with the RBI double, somehow able to knife his way down the third base line with it. Josh Lester scores. Howler's down 5-1. to one. Later in the inning, Ryan Kreidler grounding out to short, but that's good enough to score Christopher Proctor. Erie trailing 5-2. to two. Harrisburg matches those two runs, though, in the bottom of the fifth. Casey with a two-run shot to right field. This just sneaks in fair territory. Erie would make a late charge in this one down the stretch, but it wasn't enough as they fall by the count of 7-6. to six. Riley Green finishing on the night going 3-for-5 with a double and a run batted in. Ryan Kreidler going 2-for-4 with a double, an RBI, and a run scored. Major League Baseball, Indians hosting the Tigers. Top of the third, no score. Derek Hill chops one down the third baseline. Ernie Clement with the snag and throw to first, getting the out just in time. Take a look at it again. What a defensive gem. Able to get the one hop and record the out. Bottom of the third. Tribe leading two to nothing. Bobby Bradley taking Matt Manning's pitch down the line. Two runs would score, doubling Cleveland's lead to four to nothing. Eventually it's Cleveland holding off the Tigers at Progressive Field. The final score six to one. National League action. Pittsburgh taking on Cincinnati. This one got ugly real fast for the Buccos in the first. Base is loaded for the Reds. And Mike Moustakis doubles to right field. Gregory Polanco just simply can't come up with it cleanly. Two runs would score. Reds in front, two to nothing. Then it's Kyle Farmer with a bloop single to center. Joey Votto and Moustakis would score, giving Cincinnati a four to nothing cushion. Still in the home half of the first. Tucker Barnhart jacks his sixth home run of the season. This a three run bomb. Cincinnati with a seven run first inning. They go on to beat Pittsburgh by the count of 10 to nothing. When the Chicago White Sox and New York Yankees take the field in Iowa next week, the two teams will pay homage to the baseball players of the past by wearing custom throwback inspired uniforms. Chicago's unis will be white with navy pinstripes and the vintage socks on the left side. New York will be wearing gray uniforms with New York word marks stitched across the chest in navy blue. The Field of Dreams game takes place on Thursday, August 12th on Fox. Gannon University has named DJ Cannon its new baseball head coach. Cannon comes from Chatham University where he coached the Cougars since 2019. He takes over for Greg Coleman who coached the Knights for seven seasons. Glenwood League Baseball Playoffs Game 2 between Brendel Bowles and the Red Sox. Scoreless game until the top of the sixth. Two runners on for Noah Ross and he cracks one deep to left center field and into the gap. Both runs would come in and score giving the Bulls a 2 to nothing lead thanks to that two-run double by Ross. Very next batter, Alex Androzeski, gets the strikeout for the Red Sox to limit the damage and keep his team still in the contest. Bottom of the sixth, Red Sox threatening with runners at first and second, but Travis Butcher able to get the ground out to third, the throw to first, keeping the Bulls in front at 2 to nothing. Red Sox down to their final out now. Butcher would go the distance tossing a complete game and what a performance it was. He scattered seven hits, striking out nine batters in the process. Brendel Bowles advances to the next round of the postseason with a 2-0 win over the Red Sox. They take the series two games to none. 